Hey, this is Lawrence with Hemp Traders, and a lot of people have been asking what it's going to take to get the hemp fiber industry to take off. So I'd like to talk a little bit about that today. Uh, first of all, uh, we need farmers in America growing hemp for fiber. We cannot use the fiber left over from a grain or a flower crop. We need actually hemp grown for the fiber for this to work. Uh, number two, we actually need uh, infrastructure, so decornication facilities. So the farmer will have a place to take the fiber to somebody who can buy from them to the decornication and then get it sold. Now it's very important that the decornication is done properly because you need at least a 99.9% .9 separation of the basset fiber and the core fiber for the basset fiber to have any value. Uh, if there's more contamination of that herd in the basket, it's gonna lower it by you know, anywhere from like 50% to almost 100% and make it unusable. So you really need really good uh, decortication. Uh, then of course, uh, you need to be able to handle the fiber gently so you can use it for the highest purpose, which would probably be textiles, but there's also a greater number of uses for the fiber for uh, non-woven applications, for uh, building materials, uh, for composites, uh, for paper, thing, things of that nature. And then of course the hemp herd uh, can be used for building materials and pure hemp cellulose and uh, hempcrete. So how do these things have to get together? The problem is farmers don't want to grow the hemp unless they know they have a buyer, and people don't want to build the facilities unless they know there's going to have farmers uh, growing it at that same time that they'll have a supply of raw materials. So kind of a uh, between a rock and a hard spot, but fortunately I've talked to people all over the country and this infrastructure and these farmers are coming together right now. We'll probably see the first crops by the end of 2021.